Hey everybody, Donnie coming at you. As you can see, I'm on an inspection. Cute little house, old house. I knew chances were, are, that there was a ungrounded system here. Checked one of the receptacles coming into the house. In the foyer, it showed ungrounded. Then I decided to start checking the living room uh, receptacles. And of course, it showed grounded. And then I started pulling out the screws, like two and a half inch deck screw and something else. And then of course, I find this. So from the neutral to the ground, that makes what's called a bootleg ground. And whoever did this intentionally did this. This is pretty dangerous because it creates a um, back feed ground and a potential fire hazard on the receptacle. I'm assuming that there's a few more like this. Let me go pull another one and let's see how it looks. Okay, here we are again. I am in the kitchen, the kitchen this time, a little dining area nook. And as you can see, the old bootleg ground happening right there. So they've done it to pretty much, I would assume, most of the receptacles. Now let me show you a proper fix. So if you hook up correctly a GFCI, it will work. And that is kind of the fix other than grounding the whole system. Now, if you put your tester in, it will show that it's good. If you hit it, it will not trip. But an ungrounded system with a correct installed GFCI will not trip with a tester you need, it will trip at the buttons. So that's correct. And it looks like they've installed them all over in here. Yes. So just remember, you know, if you got an older house that may be ungrounded, that's something you definitely want to take a look at and uh, make sure that there's no bootleg grounds. Two options, add a ground to the system, put GFIs everywhere. There's maybe 12, 15 GFIs in this or receptacles in this house that need to be GFI'd. I would probably add the GFIs. Next, I'm pulling the cover off of that. Have a great day.